The ocean literally froze. That's <laughs> so crazy. It's also the most gorgeous day. I'm gonna go take a look outside. Yeah, I didn't think that was possible landing. Wow. Welcome aboard Blue Moon. I'm Jillian, and this is Jonas. We live aboard our 1978 Catalina 30 sailboat. Join us while we explore the west coast by land and sea, while living in our tiny floating home. If you enjoy these videos, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Wait, do an official cheers. Wait. <laughs> One more time. Jonas! Oh, it's way too hot. Put some hot cold water in. <laughs> I hate doing that. I also put cold water in my tea. Put cold water in your tea. I'm having some cinnamon bun. Look at that. Wow. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna chat about how we stay warm on the boat. The first thing we use while we're on the docks and have shore power is conventional space heaters. We have two, one that came with the boat and then we also picked up another one in, when was it, like November when it started getting a little colder. Yeah. We found that the one just wasn't keeping up. Our first space heater came with a boat as well and it was very old. Yeah, it's actually kind of on the fritz right now. Kind it? of rolling with like one and a half. Those keep the cabin pretty toasty, or I shouldn't say toasty, but they keep it like comfortable. It's certainly not as high as a, as it would be in a house. Like it's mm -hmm. probably below 20 degrees. The space heaters do a really good job keeping the humidity down in here, especially in the main cabin. The humidity stays really low, the walls, um, the walls stay dry. We can't run our space heaters if we're not connected to shore power, hence why we're at the docks during the winter. When it's windy out, and it's coming from the stern of the boat. Wind will come through the slats in the door. And so that'll definitely cool things off. Like if it's windy, it's pretty hard to keep it warm mm -hmm. in here. One thing about the space heaters is that we only have 30 amps of shore power into the boat. So running two space heaters at a time is sort of the max that we can do other than having lights on or charging small electronics. And if we're, if we're cooking, like if we're using the toaster oven or the induction burner we have to turn one of the space heaters off or both of them our rule of thumb is two larger appliances at a time it can get a little chilly sometimes if we're if we're cooking so that's the space heaters second way we stay warm is uh our wood stove 
We have a Sigmarine wood stove over the table. We don't use that on the docks. A couple reasons. Space heaters are easier. You can just plug them in. Um, I'm not a huge fan. Like, I love wood burning stoves, but I'm also not a huge fan of any smoke that does enter the cabin. I just don't think it's super good for your health. Well, we're on the docks here. The space heaters do everything we need, so we haven't we haven't had a reason to use the wood stove. It's super cozy. Like, I love lighting a fire and being able to sit at the table, mm -hmm. but for everyday heating, it's just so much simpler for us to just use the space heaters. Yeah. When we're on a trip or our morning bowl, the wood stove would be our main source of heat, other than just opening up the cabin and letting uh, the warm air from outside come in in the summertime. But then we don't really have a problem with heat when it's summertime and it's hot outside. <laughs> the other thing is it heats the cabin area but it doesn't get heat. Heat doesn't travel very well to the front. The heat sort of stays around the stove. We don't have one of those fans. Mm -hmm. We could get we one could of those fans. We probably circulate the air. If we, if we wanted to use it more, but right now it's more of a, mm -hmm. like a additional yeah. fun little thing. Number, Number three. three, our electric blanket, which is a new addition. Mm -hmm. I yeah. was very excited. Christmas present. Christmas present, which was wonderful. <laughs> um, yeah, it makes a huge difference. We don't keep it plugged in while we sleep, but lots of times it's super nice to have it up in the V-Birth and to plug it in and literally just heat it up. Mm -hmm. And then we'll often unplug it before we go to sleep. So if you layer the heated blanket on the bottom and then a quilt or a duvet over top, if you put the heated blanket on, it'll heat up the whole bed and that makes a huge difference for us. Um, it's a queen size electric blanket. They're very efficient. We'll be able to run the electric blanket from uh, solar in the summertime when we're offshore yeah, power. Which is gonna be awesome. To have ways of like being hot. The less space you have to heat the better. So an electric blanket allows you to just heat your body and then you're not sort of wasting per se any heat that's that's going out into the room or or is just gonna go out the hatch. Um, especially if you're trying to conserve energy like we are when we're on when we're off grid on solar. Um, so it's yeah it you use all the you use all the heat you make yeah heated blanket super nice <laughs> is, is huge you number four number four uh what was number four number four is clothing clothing yeah clothing is like the best way to stay warm mm -hmm. um layering is our our new best friend yeah we just have a few pieces each of really warm clothes and yeah, it makes it really comfortable in here. When we're off grid, for example, and I mentioned this in our sailing trip video, I wear, like I'll wake up in the morning and put on my sweater, sometimes two sweaters and then a down jacket and sometimes a rain jacket. And I'll be toasty. Um, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll be walking around inside the boat with all my all my layers on. And once you get used to that, it's it's just like having the air heated. Yeah, I mean, it's wintertime too. So it's, it's nice to be wearing sweaters and like I wear a toque almost every day. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you don't have to do your hair. <laughs> Toots, sweaters, coats. Socks is a big one too. Yeah, yeah, um, I wear, I've worn wool socks every day. They make a big difference. And if you're worried about energy, like maybe if your boat or whatever you're living in doesn't have power, obviously clothes take no energy at all. They just mm -hmm. reflect the heat that your, your body makes. And I also have these down slippers which are amazing. They're like little sleeping bags for your feet. But I wear these like all the time. And yeah, clothes are good. Number five. Number five, hot drinks. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, sounds kind of silly, but they warm you from the inside out. Mm -hmm. Hot <laughs> drinks and food. Um, hot food, totally. Hot food, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a great they're way just to, nice. Yeah, it's a great way to warm up. Like whether you have heat or not. Yeah. I feel like winter is time for like mm. hot food and hot drinks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's enough said about that. Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk it? Number six. Number six. Is, and this is ex extru experimental. Experimental. <laughs> <laughs> and this is extremely new and experimental. Mm, yes. And that is we very, very recently insulated the V-Birth. The purpose of insulating the V-Birth was not for warmth, um, but we realized that it makes it so much warmer in there. Any heat that our bodies are generating, it just kind of like traps it. We've already noticed with the reflectics on the sidewall and then 
R5 insulating foam underneath the mattress that that it seems to be a lot warmer. You definitely probably don't need to insulate the V-Birth. I wasn't finding it overly cold to begin with. Like I, there was, a, there's definitely a few nights where we'd wake up cold, but not to the point where I couldn't sleep. Like I can't sleep if I'm cold. I'm sure that's very common, mm -hmm. um, but I've never not been able to sleep because it was so cold. But this again, just makes it way more comfortable. Number seven. Seven? Six. I think we're done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number seven. Number seven. And this one's kind of a weird one, but I think <laughs> it's it applies. <laughs> and that is physical activity. Not like going to the gym, um, but just staying physically active mm. during the day. Because when your body heat warms up, then you're warmer. Mm. <laughs> Pretty simple. Like you're going to be like, ah, uh, <laughs> duh. <laughs> So you guys recommend ways to stay warm is eat, uh, wear clothing, and exercise. Yeah, it makes a huge difference. Like, you wouldn't think of it. And obviously, if you're cold and bundled up, you don't want to go outside. Um, so I have to fight myself a little bit. But, mm. yeah, if I just go even like a 10-15 minute walk, I come back and it's hot. Like, mm. it feels hot in here. Yeah. So that's handy. Yeah. Good little incentive program there to, <laughs> yeah. to, get, to get moving. It's not cold but it's not as warm as a house by any means. And so if you're just sitting in one spot, maybe you're in a t-shirt, you will get, you'll get a little chilly. We're in January, oh, we're in the, I guess this will be out by like the first week of February. Anyway, we just lived through the month of January and I cannot confirm this, but I believe that it's the coldest month of the year in Victoria. <laughs> Jillian keeps saying a few times a week, she'll say, oh, Jonas, like we're almost through winter. We've had a few nights here. I think the lowest that I've seen just like on the weather app is like minus two. It feels colder because it's so humid. Like yeah. minus two isn't very cold normally. Like normally I'd be like, oh, that's so warm. But when it's humid out and really damp, mm. you're just, your whole body gets cold. I would take minus 10 with 0% humidity over, over five like, degrees here with on a rainy day. Yeah, because 100%. it can get very cold, especially if it's windy too. Not to mention we're literally sitting in the water between what, like five and seven degrees Celsius? Yeah, pretty cold. Um, in the winter time? Don't want to fall in. Do not want to fall in. Overall, I think we do pretty good. If someone t were to ask me about my experience this winter, cold would not be one no. of those things. Yeah, I feel like we've been just living at large here with space heaters and electric blankets. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is. So it, it's very doable if you're thinking about moving aboard. There's lots of ways to deal with cold weather. The too long don't read version of this video is <laughs> wear clothes, don't eat only cold food, use electric heaters. Yeah, those are the three main takeaways from today. Yeah, convert electricity to heat. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed. Mm -hmm.